Okay, you hopefully know human cells contain plasmids that are vital for our health and survival, and we inherit all, well, about 99.999% of these plasmids from our mothers. And if these plasmids contain a faulty gene, there is a limited chance for correction. I am, of course, talking about mitochondria. The mitochondrial DNA produces some of the proteins the mitochondrial needs to function. However, if there is a mutation in the mitochondrial DNA, this can lead to impairment of the correct functioning of high energy tissues, and this is referred to as mitochondrial disease. So how can we treat mitochondrial disease? Well, the current approach is to take an egg from a healthy donor and remove the nucleus, and to then take the nucleus from an egg of a mother with mitochondrial disease and add it to the denucleated egg. Essentially, you're replacing all the mitochondria that carry the mutation. This egg is then fertilized with a sperm from the father and implanted. Doing this means that the baby will have mitochondria derived not from the mother, but from the third party thus removing the mitochondrial disease. But should this be done? What are the ethical considerations? We're changing the mitochondrial genes of a human and all their offspring. Is this a problem? Well, the ethics of the situation has been considered and the procedure has been done. 